Hello everyone, this is Emerald Doctor, and today we're going to be taking a look at my Compact Quick Kit. This will also be a tutorial on how to build the Quick Kit part of this. Uh, quick Kits are basically used for if you die and you respawn in your bed, you can go over to your Quick Kit, get re-equipped really fast, and go and recover your tools and everything else that you lost on your trip, so you don't lose all your stuff, and then you're all prepared, so you can actually go on and do even more than you already were doing in the first place. Now let's go take a look at uh, how this works and why this would be useful. My little room here, here's your bed. Now you'd send your spawn before you go on a trip or a camping adventure. And then over here is the actual quick kit spot itself. And let's just get our uh, let's get equipped here. Step on these pressure plates. Out come all of the stuff you need. But wait. You still need blocks and torches and arrows and food. And those all dispensed by the back four dispensers. As you can see, you get everything you need to go and recover all of your items. You have a stack of torches, an instant health 2 potion, a potion of strength, an invisibility potion, a swiftness potion, a fire resistant potion, two stacks of ender pearls, half a stack of your food, bow and arrows, a boat, minecart, chest, milk bucket, water bucket, flint and steel, crafting table, a stack of blocks, and a night vision potion. Now all this stuff can obviously yeah, you have to refill all these, so all this can be refilled by the upstairs portion, which we're gonna go take a look at right now. These stairs here, and up here is a little refill room with all the stuff you have. Let's go around. They all go into hoppers that go down into the dispensers. The dispensers in the back do cause a little bit of lag, but if you have a better computer or you just don't really care, it doesn't really matter that much because it's just for a brief period, like a minute or so. Um, I have these chests staggered because um, some of these are trap chests and they would produce a redstone signal which would turn on the dispensers down below while I was trying to refill them and that would be pretty pointless if you're just throwing an item through the system and having it pop out the other side. So now that we've uh, taken a look at this, let's go look at a little bit of the redstone before we actually get into building this thing. Here we are at the back of the dispensing part of the quick kit. We have two pressure plates that feed into these two dispensers, and then they send a signal down to this redstone. This splits off on two sides here. Both sides are the same, so I'm going to go through one. Goes up a little redstone staircase. Goes to these four dispensers here, and then these last six, three on the bottom, three on top. And those get all triggered at the same time, and both sides are in the same delay, so they all get shot at the same time. So let's go take a look at the... Uh, the rapid fire dispenser in the back. All right, so you go over here. This thing also splits off to the back, which takes this line, goes to this torch, which goes up to a little piston gate that extends like this. And you step on the pressure plates. Over here, you have your dispenser with a comparator. When the dispenser has a full stack of blocks, the comparator sends out a two redstone signal, which then is allowed to go through this line. And if you're stepping on the pressure plates, it goes through a big long delay and then into a pulse extender right here. The delay allows it for when that dispenser there runs out of uh, items. It doesn't just stop the whole thing right there. It allows all the other dispensers to continue to fire until they're completely out of their stack of items. Now, after the pulse extender, it feeds into a comparator clock. If you don't know what a comparator clock is, it is a pulse extender here, or just no pulse extender, and a comparator set on subtraction that feeds back into itself, and it sends out a very rapid pulsation. Depending on what kind of pulse you give it at first, the longer the pulse, the more times it's going to shoot. That clock feeds into these four dispensers in the back, which are rapid fire, and they all fire at the same rate, and they dispense a stack of items each, and then they stop dispensing, and this whole system shuts down. Now let's uh, go get into actually building this part, this whole thing here. Just the refilling part and the dispensing part. That's just aesthetic. Let's get into that. 
Something else to point out is that if you're building one of these quick kit systems, it's a good idea to have a nether portal around, preferably a toggleable one. You can see my toggleable nether portal video if you want in more in depth on this. But basically, you just walk over pressure plates, and your portal turns on, walk over them again, and it turns off. Now, if we go look at the redstone, it's just really quick here. It's really easy, just a line that feeds into a monostable circuit, which over here has a piston, one tick piston T flip flop, and a locky repeater that sends a quick pulse to this one for the water bucket, and just a regular pulse for the flint and steel and the bottom dispenser. If you want more in depth, you can look at my toggleable nether portal video. Now let's get on to the tutorial. Now let's get to the tutorial part of this. What you're going to need to have is about two stacks of blocks of whatever you're choosing. 19 dispensers, 5 droppers, 64 redstone, about 30 repeaters, 2 comparators, 2 redstone torches, 2 pressure plates, a sticky piston, a water bucket, and of course a bed. If you'd like to build the restocking system, you're going to need 24 signs, around a stack of hoppers, which is kind of expensive, but if you want convenience, that's what you have to pay for it, and 12 regular chests and 12 trap chests. Now let's get to this tutorial. You're going to start off by placing five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And on top of the second one, you're going to put a dropper. Then line the rest of the dispensers. Leave a block space. And then back here, you're going to want to put three dispensers and a dropper. doesn't matter which order they're in. I like to have the dropper on bottom, though. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. Block gap. One, two, three, four, five. Dropper here, dispenser, 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 dispenser. Now for the ones on top, you need to build up a block. Dispensers downward facing, all the way across. Two, three, four, five, yep. That one doesn't need to be here. And then the same thing. This design, you can expand it out as far as you want, but Anything beyond 8 starts getting weird with water streams unless you use ice. So now up top here, you're also going to want to place one of these with a dropper. So now 1, 2, 3, 4 droppers there. We're going to need one more later. Now that you have that done, you can go in here and place this dispenser here with a dropper. And you can, if you'd like to, I like to do this personally for lighting. We'll place this bottom piece here with glowstone. Or pumpkins work as well. Now it's not just placing your water just yet because that sound can get really annoying. Now right here you put two dispensers facing upwards and your pressure plates on top of them. Just like that. Now that we have our dispensers placed, uh, we can go and add our hoppers now. If you're going to build the restocking system, I would suggest using hoppers but if you're not, this part doesn't apply to you, you can skip past this part of the video. So what we do for first for hoppers, we go over and connect these two bottom ones, dig underneath, move out one, two, and just go straight up to the top here. You should try to make all your hoppers of equal height so you can build your room on top of this like I have over there. Do the same for this side. One, two, and go up to the top. Once you have that part done, we're going to go with these first couple side ones here. This one right here, and you just go straight up like, just like normal, what you think. And then the next one, you're actually going to skip this dropper right here. It's not able to have a uh, refill area to it because of how the redstone works. It, you just can't have this. But that's okay, it's just one on each side, so it's only two. And only two things that you don't actually really need go in there. So that's okay. You can just refill it by hand and it's reachable without pressing, stepping on the pressure plates anyway. So now you skip past and you go to the right on this dispenser and go up and do the same for all the sides. Just go to the right, to the right, to the right, and just go straight up to the height of the rest of them. Do the same on this side.
And then for the top ones here, they're just the simple straight up and down. No extra work involved here. Now for the dispensers and droppers in the back. I like to start with this one because you need to have a comparator here so you can't just like go to the side and go straight up. You have to go back one, up one, up, up one more, and then over to the side here, and in, and up, and up. This one you can just go straight up like usual. This one you go straight up. And the bottom one here, you just go out to left one, up one, two, three, or to whatever height you have the rest of these set at. And there's a nice even four across here. It makes it really nice and symmetrical for your restocking building, which we'll get to later. But now we're going to go start adding the actual redstone. All right, let's get into the redstone here. The first thing we're going to do is make our paths for the redstone. I think this is a good idea, and this is what I usually do. Go over here, underneath these two dispensers, place two blocks, and from these two blocks, dig over two, dig up one, dig up one, two like that, and just dig up one actually, and dig out one more, same thing like on this side, dig over here two, dig up one, and dig up one more, behind here, dig a little path for you to walk, and put a repeater here, set three, and then dig a pathway, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blocks long. And put a block there. And put your redstone down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I miscounted, that was 15, and minus those two. Um, so I'll go to there. That'll, that'll be the power area for the piston gate that I showed earlier for the rapid dispensers in the back. Right here. It's stood on top. Repeat it one way, repeat it the other way. No delay. Go up like this. Go over this way. And up here, you're going to put redstone and repeater. And redstone again. This is why we didn't put the hoppers here. It's because this redstone needs to be here so it can power these four dispensers. And take your redstone over to here, go up like this. Place blocks here, here, and here. And one up here. And place down your redstone. Now if you count, this will be a, actually, you don't need any extra repeaters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14. And then you just duplicate on this side. Just gonna do this real quick just to make it quicker. So I'm right here. Go down here. Go out and around. Down to your repeater. Up to here. And into there. Get rid of this part. And we can count again from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oops, that was one short. Let's just fix that real quick and just go like that. There we go. And now since you got all those uh dispensers are now hooked up, the ones and blocks on the dispensers on top and on the bottom, the ones on top being powered by the wire that goes into this block right here, and the ones on the bottom are also being powered by the same one, and these four are being powered by this dust, which gets powered here, which powers this one, and since this is being powered here, this this powers this block as well, so this is being powered, it powers that dispenser as well. Kind of strange, but that's how dispensers work. Now let's go and move on to the back and do the rapid dispenser uh, redstone. Now we're going to do the redstone from back here with your rapid fire dispensers. Replace that repeat, uh, compared to you had earlier. It's kind of hard to do it once you've messed up. There we go. And then above that, comparing, you put a block. 
And then to the left of that, you put another block. It goes, it makes go at one, two. Put a repeater. Set it at four. Go over to that hole we dug earlier. Go down. Place a block. Put a redstone torch. Another block. Another redstone torch. And one last block. And put your sticky piston on it with another block. And from this repeater, you're going to go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then go up to right here. And the other side, you can place another repeater and set it at 4. Now we're going to place 12 more repeaters, all set at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the eleventh one, you're gonna draw a little bit of dust right here. And this is going to go to a block. And from that block, we're going to have another, our last tw twelfth repeater here. Go to another block. And redstone dust there. Block again. And another repeater. And you run this line all the way out like this. And then you're going to put a five repeater pulse extender in. So one, two, three, four. And you put in your repeaters. One, two, three, four. We actually have four pulse extender. Once we got this done, we're going to put another repeater right here. Set it four into a comparator. Set it subtraction. And we're going to make a comparator clock like this. And have it go right here and here. And right here you put a repeater set on four again. Or set no set on four. Another Peter here. Redstone dust up to there. Go over here. Redstone dust up to there. Block here. Go down like this. Repeater right there. No delay. Go over. Put your blocks down here because you're going over the hole we just dug. And you're gonna go over to this dispenser over here. Put down the repeater, no delay again, and run this over to here, and then place blocks here, here, and there. So now you should have it all hooked up, and you can go and get this a test, and you should be ready to go. Actually, you need to put a block here, and this needs to run around there. So there you go, we got that part done. If you're having problems, like with this clock going fast and then this bottom left hand dispenser not working, try changing this repeater to a comparator. If that still doesn't work, make sure you have it in this exact order. Or like the order we had over there has to be in the same order. Because like the quasi connectivity stuff is a bit strange when it comes to dispensers. Now that we got that done, we're going to go take a look at uh, how to make the storage room. Now let's go take a look at how to build the storage room area here. I want to build up about one or two layers. And right here you want to put half slabs over this redstone. Like this. And then you want to build up the rest of this. Go up to the side. Oops. Make sure you don't block off any of your redstone. And build up on top of these in a second. This is going to be your main floor we're going to build right now. And you want to put more hoppers up here so you keep everything even. Like this. this side as well. And now what you're going to do is in the middle here, you know, line it again with half slabs right here. This part's just for look. And right there. Actually do not connect because you don't want to cut off your power underneath. And right here you want to remove those two. And you want to build a walkway around this whole thing because it is a bit 
big and it'll be, get really cramped if you don't have a walkway. Obviously, quartz is not a very efficient or a good idea use of resources for this, but it looks good, so I'm going to use it just because I'm a creative. And get rid of these two on the side, and this actually can be a full block. And now you can go and, if you want too wide, which I would suggest, you just do another layer, but for the video, <coughs> I'm going to have it like this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to have your hoppers go up one more time. And this one doesn't need to have a hopper, but you can just do it for symmetry because it looks better that way. And that's the one with the dropper that doesn't actually get hooked up because the redstone is there. Good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to build up this front piece a little bit more for an extra layer here. So it's easier to walk on because it's the hardest part. And now you're going to, it doesn't matter which order we put these in, but we're going to put this and do the back four first just because they're the most important. You're going to want to have your chests out now. Trap, 12 trap chests and 12 regular chests. You want to go chest, trap chest, chest, trap chest. Like this, they don't combine together, so you don't have to worry about like your items going to the wrong dispensers. If you're going to have one of these chests be full of arrows, that chest that corresponds to the uh, dropper, must co they must correspond to the dropper, else arrows will be shot at you and you'll take damage. So the dropper will just drop the arrows out. For me, this is right here, this is the one that has the arrows in it. So we're going to take out our 24 signs. And we're going to mark this one as arrows. Oh, now I have cat blocks on. There we go. And now you can still open the chest, even though there's a sign on top, which is good. Uh, the trap chest does power the hopper for a second, but then the items will go through as soon as you close your hopper, or your chest here. I'm going to go by and I'm going to put all the chests on the drop hoppers and I'm going to label them all and I'll be right back. I'm back and I have put a second layer on this with a half slab, I'll show you in a second. And I went by and labeled all the chests and put all the uh, items inside the chest that the signs say they have in them. And they're all in their dispensers now. I had a second layer here because I thought it was a bit cramped and I didn't really care for it. And also, I uh, put half slabs here. If you build this up the same height and you have all the chests uh, this height, like this, it's a good idea to have half slabs so you can see this, these, and also these all at the same time. I also elevated the chest in the middle up one level. I used the trap chest, radio chest technique I showed earlier. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, the good thing to note, though, is that the dispensers right here, the one, these two, and this one, if you need to make sure that these first uh, six here, they are all, they have to be, four of them have to be your armor, because you can walk in and have the armor get put right on your body by the dispensers. Uh, it's been like that since the 1.5 update, not many people know that though. Um, so it's a good idea to have it like that, so you can just walk in and get your armor on automatically. And as you saw on the sign here, again, boat, storage only, that does not go down to the dropper, because there's redstone there. Same thing over here with the minecart storage only. So let's uh let's go take and give this thing a test. All right, let's do our test here. Uh, let's go in our droppers here. I'm gonna put in our boat and put in our minecart. Uh, a couple things to note here before uh, we do this actually. Any uh, items such as arrows, flint and steel buckets minecarts and boats or splash potions if you'd like to have them be in the system you want to make sure they use droppers not dispensers because dispensers will shoot out those things and they will break splash potions and they will not come to you uh, now let's go take care of this and uh, see how this thing works and hope for the best put down your water put down your pressure plates broke that real quick let me fix that Here we go. 
to go on the pressure plates. Get all suited up in armor, get our tools. suited up with stack cobble, uh, half stack food and ender pearls, arrows, flint steel axe, all our potions are here. So yeah, that was the quick system, quick kit system tutorial here. I find these very useful and uh, I definitely use these, ki these kind of things in my worlds and I think that's a great thing to do, you know, place your spawn down and then go and off on adventure and then if you die come to your quick you spawn your bed go to your quick system kit here and get going and get back and get your stuff real quick uh, for any troubleshooting problems or anything like that you gotta just, uh, send me a message or leave a comment this is actually it's really not that hard to figure out I'm pretty sure um, once you once you follow the tutorial and you do something wrong you could probably correct it yourself uh, thank you for watching the video. I'll be posting this both to the Minecraft forums and to YouTube. My YouTube channel is The Emerald Doctor. Thank you everyone and have a good day.